And yeah guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a brand new method on how to reduce your input delay here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 guys. It's super super simple and basically everyone can do it on their Windows PC without any tool or something like that. It's super easy and if you guys enjoy this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this wrap me say so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys, and what I want you to do now in the first place is basically launch your Fortnite and put it onto windowed mode so that you can still tap out onto your normal Windows home screen. And once we actually get Fortnite running in the background guys we're gonna right click here onto our windows bar and go into task manager and once we're in our task manager guys we're gonna go over here now to details and press f on our keyboard so that we can find actually fortnite client windows 64 shipping exe and guys please just simply select the one which has the highest amount of memory usage definitely you know okay this is also like the main fortnite process and then we're now going to right click onto it and we get something here which is going to be called set affinity guys and what we're now going to do in this window is make sure to uncheck CPU zero, guys. And you can literally do some research on your own. CPU zero does actually, for tons of games, boost your FPS if you actually disable it or in general also reduce the input delay. So therefore, we're going to uncheck it here. This is basically like our first CPU core, you know, our real one. And disabling that one in many games can improve your performance drastically. So therefore, we're just going to uncheck it here. Click onto OK, guys and go back into Fortnite and enjoy having better performance or less input delay. Even though that I read that for majority of people this is improving their performance, there might also be a small chance guys that it's going to cause your FPS stutter. So therefore if you've got that issue, exactly do the same thing again, you know, go into set affinity and put it back here onto actually enabled. But for most of you guys, this should actually give you way less input delay. And yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would upload so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.